Welcome back to the channel, VST here at this tech. Four months ago, once I got the Samsung S22 Ultra, the Exynos 2001 version, guys, one of the first thing I did was a torture test, one hour, 60 minutes CPU torture test with the CPU throttling application. So four months ago, just when the S22 Ultra was released, I did it 60 minutes. It was brutal. You can watch the first video there. My idea was just to take the phone out of the box, you know, without any updates, no SIM card, nothing, and just pure pleasure, pure torture, right? So you can check this video here, guys. 60 minutes CPU thermal throttling test. I, of course, will skip to the end of the video so that, that you can see the results. This is pretty much what I got the first time and the S22 Ultra was actually doing quite nice until the 45th minute mark where, yeah, I throttled down to like 67% of its performance. So this is kind of what we experienced four months ago, all right? Just memorize this picture, guys. Four months ago, S22 Ultra X2200 out of the box. Now what I'm gonna do right now, guys, I'm gonna close everything, okay? Close all of the applications. I will now also go and turn the airplane mode and also turn the do not disturb, all right? And I'm gonna be starting the CPU throttling test again. The idea really is to see how well Samsung will do it Four months after the initial release, going inside and setting the time to 60 minutes, saving it, guys. So, again, to just remind you, we are asking ourselves, what has changed for these four months? And after 10 stable updates, I just did yesterday my video on the latest July stable update for the S22 Ultra. This is, again, the 10th update for, like, four months. Crazy right so far. People are not so happy initially with some of the performance we got. There were some stutters, some lags, and etc. I'm overall quite happy. I always, of course, believe that this device can do more. But hey, let me stop talking, guys. I'm just gonna put the start button and be back here with the final results and with my commands. So we're going to then compare what we are gonna get right now today to what we had four months ago so guys before me speeding up the video you'll have three seconds to decide if it's worth subscribing for a channel like mine and if you decide to do so thank you very much if you want to pass that's okay i understand probably you'll change your mind so i'm gonna speed up the video guys and yeah please keep watching 60 minutes cpu thermal throttling torture Duh. But I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls Cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off From the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all If you're patient and soon It can all be worth it All the searching Pain is never really permanent But damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence And it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man Life is a nuisance, types nuisance. I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution. 
A place like this, it didn't exist for me like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass halfway I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing in the red inside a payphone Just wanna break, no I'm not gonna give in Take a last shot, Michael J. Wynn No, I'm not a robot, I'm in my own skin Never get lost when thoughts pull you in I miss the old you We died with the purpose All the energy around me felt nervous Scared I would pop out fast to the surface Had to cut it off before you made me worthless Torn apart, I've been torn as God I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart I'm keeping up my guard, I'm hiding every card A royal flush of love, you never know what's hard With a back to the Mac and I see where I'm at I'ma fight like I'm mad, I'm a piece of the net They can never be me, nice try, but they'll see I achieve everything while they stay salty I We are now exact at the 40 minutes mark and I do believe that there is a pattern. There is a pattern and there is also some news guys. I'm now going to interpret the numbers while the test keeps running. You have been observing also the first test I did four months ago. And in the beginning we noticed the same behavior. Bear in mind that one box here meant five minutes. In the beginning, the first 10 minutes, the performance dropped from 100 to 80%. And although we're not able to see any red lines here, meaning that the performance drops rapidly, right, in the previous test, after the 40 minutes of mark, performance degraded really rapidly to something like 60-63%. So although here, starting after 20 minutes, we see some performance peaks and drops, we still have, for the moment, better sustained performance. And exactly when I'm saying this, at the 41 minutes, I do believe that we are taking just another hit. Okay, I really was hoping that the phone could have kept this until the end of the video. This would have mean that eventually the S22 Ultra with all these 10 updates would have had a better sustained performance, which means that under severe pressure, the performance can be kept into some, let's say, normal or average levels for a longer period of time. But what we see right now is even worse to what we see in the beginning because I do believe that this drop on the first original test was just to 60, 63%. And right now, I think it is below the 60%. So the phone is really taking a huge hit on the performance. Honestly, that's a bit disappointing because I was really hoping that the phone would have kept this performance line until the end of the test. If the phone would have kept this performance line until the end of the test, like only 18 more minutes, yeah, this would have mean that they did something. But from what I see right now, this is not looking good. And by the way, I have the AC on, it's 27 degrees ambient temperature Celsius, which I think is, should be pretty much okay. But what I see here on the graphs doesn't really look so good. Now, by the way, the graphs looks very similar to the one I did four months ago. The only big differences are the fact that we have these kind of drops starting from the 20th minute. And actually the main, the biggest difference is the severe hit, right? The severe drop right now in the performance. So it seems that the phone is throttling to something like 50, 50 something percent of the whole performance. And overall, guys, I'm a bit disappointed, but yeah, it's just really the way you see it. Because you know that the coin has two sides. So the first side of the coin is, yeah, okay, I'm disappointed. But the second side of the coin is that probably Samsung did something to optimize your phone's behavior and just keep the phone safe. Because if you expose the phone to really 
things like this, like torture tests, and you do shoot videos 4K60 under the bright sunlight, then of course the phone will stop, right? The main idea is to just protect your device so that you it will not really get any problems with the hardware, so you have to return it. So I think this is really what, what was driving Samsung by optimizing in brackets or not this type of behavior. So although this test is, I think, similar to the first one. It is showing that after the 40 minutes of mark, in both cases, we kind of experience a very high, very severe drop of the performance, which means that the phone is throttling heavily. And on the one hand side, as I said, the first side of the coin is maybe that's bad. Mm, the second side of the coin will be okay. My phone is trying to protect itself from what we're doing with it. Now, of course, this means that if you're playing Genshin for hours or Call of Duty for hours or any other intense game, graphically intense game, yeah, the phone might suffer. And by the way, this is yet another interesting thing that we're seeing. It seems, it seems that it's trying to recover some of the performance, guys. On the 45th minute mark, it's really interesting because the last time, the last test that I did was just keeping this flat. So the moment the phone collapsed, the other 15 minutes were just like a flat line. Right now, okay, okay, yeah, I probably have to turn my words around. If the phone manages to recover more than 60, I think now we are past the 60%, then maybe we still have a different performance type of management. All right. Yes, I think Samsung might prove me wrong. If they're able to get back to these original levels, I would say this is definitely what I prefer. So somehow the phone managed to brace itself and recover some of the power. And I think it's still recovering. See the performance, guys. It is going up, up. I really hope we can go to one probably 80 uh, GIPS. Let's see. Let's see. But this is definitely different from the first time we did that test so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna speed up the video and just leave the phone for yet another 15 minutes and then i'm gonna do the final recap and if you're not subscribed yet yeah, please go change this now So the S22 Ultra running the Exynos 2200 with the 10th stable update was indeed able to recover the throttling. I would say something between 70-75%. So this here guys, what you see right now, this here is the big difference between the first test I did four months ago. So to me, right now, I just see this as a good news. It seems that Samsung really did something and this is indeed the preferred way. So although here we suffered, which means the heat is intense, performance was bad, then the phone managed to recover. Don't think about this test, think about playing a very heavily GPU and CPU intensive game. You will have a problem for some time and then hopefully the phone will try to recover miraculously and you'll keep playing for let's say hours and hours until of course you have battery. So this here is good news but all right we still have 12 minutes to go and a lot of things can happen for 12 minutes so let's see what will happen at the end. Jesus this is so exciting. very close to the moment of truth. From the last test we got 276 GIPS maximum performance, the average GIPS was 209 and yeah that's very important guys, the minimum was 172 GIPS. The CPU throttled to 63% of its max performance. Is this gonna be better? 
and let's find out four three two one let's do it Woo! CPU throttle to 51% of its max performance. All right, I told you this is this thing here. But see here, guys, the max performance was 266 compared to the 276, it was worse. The minimum performance uh, was 135, which is also very worse compared to the last time's 172 minimum performance. And the average performance was sadly 194 compared to the 209. GIPS. So although it seemed to be a bit better, just this hit here really, yeah, devastating, guys. I really hoped to get better result because I honestly prefer a graph like this. But the average performance is just slower. All right, it's not really that much. It's like 10 GIPS, but it's still there. And I think only due to this hit. But all right, this is kind of like the bad news. The good news is that Samsung still was able to recover after this massive hit, which is not to be observed on my previous test, the first test. So the good news is this apparently sustained performance should be a bit better for the longer run, right? Although probably not so powerful. And the bad news is that severe performance drops are to be observed before the phone is able to stabilize the performance. So if I have to give you like a, you know, black and white answer, okay, this is worse. But if we have to give ourselves a more detailed answer, this is not so worse and there are some positive things. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, I really spent some time working on this video and creating it. I really appreciate if you would like it and also subscribe for my channel because I do a lot of videos like this. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of the next videos. All right. And with that said, and for your viewing pleasure, oh my God, the phone is hot. VST over and bye.